It's been nearly nine years since we've walked into a strange building. I said Dar a few times, signed something, and then blacked out for several hours, hoping I still had both kidneys when I regained a memory. <laughs> Although we'd really only known each other less than a year at the time, I knew I wanted to spend my life side by side with you. But today isn't about the naive vows of all first weddings. It's about the real stuff. It's about the nine years past and the unknown future. You're handsome, sexy, funny, smart, you're an amazing father, and you're a millionaire. Theoretical for now. <laughs> there are so many memories I will keep in my heart forever. Crispy first snow in Kiev, perfect surf in Ecuador, super concocracha. Elusive Peter Fogel. Looking for beanies in the middle of June in St. Petersburg. Sounds of Lighthouse when Lenny was born. Virgin Dome. Driving down that hill on the way from Montville. Merciless elimination of the ant cartel. Our footsteps on moving black sand at Piha Beach. Watching you play with Ray, evil Mrs. Matrushka. And of course, our opera days in La Scala and nightclubbing in Quavelli and many, many, many more. From the first opera we performed together to the theoretical millions we've made of late, our years together have felt like a lifetime, just as it should, full of living. My vows today are about the continuous love of the little and big things, and I'd like to share them in the form of a poem. I'll always love the way the sun etches the beauty of your shadow into the pavement as you walk, and the way the moonlight falls on your brow as we sip champagne in hand and talk. The way the ocean wraps itself around you as you jump from my hands, and the way we bury each other in the North Coast sands. I'll always love your quiet grace as you sleep the morning long, and your perfect pitch voice when you sing just about any song. The way you take me mocking your singing voice without complaint, and the way you draw your loose poppies with your watercolour paint. I'll always love your intense love for our little boys Lenny and Ray, and the way you zone out with them as you play. The times you think I don't notice how much effort you put in, I really do, but sometimes stress wears my patience thin. I'll always love the way you help me towards my dream, even though at times you'll probably want to scream. The life we live will always be extraordinary, despite at times our situation being, well, rather scary. I'll always love our silly games, our Olympics, our trials, and that cheating US team, and the long drives to nowhere in particular, and the winding roads in high beam. The way your soft touch transfers the love of your overflowing heart and the life in your kiss which I felt from the start. And when the sun sets for the final time and we are both full of sleep, we'll know that the love we shared was ours to keep. And to the future, oh why not? <laughs> Leave my thoughts on the table Set my keys by the door All these fortune and fate I don't think they need us no more In my head like a blitzkrieg On my heart like a war Coming back for your heart now Cause this one ain't mine anymore Just 
Happy life, happy love. 